great temple. Oh yeah, and for once, I am uploading this, like, tomorrow. So this is like the most recent recording compared to upload time ever. So yeah, what's up guys? Um, this is Prince Boo 21 coming at you from yesterday. Where am I going? Um, oh, I need to at least leave first. Um, so yeah, only one day in the past, so this is actually recent. Um, so yeah, remember how I was talking about the, um, the Vesperia? claims uh this isn't really gonna this isn't gonna go into effect for a little while probably about another six days or so but what i'm gonna be doing is i'm going to um oh go away oh, let me see here uh i need a power oh okay i needed to go the other side right okay so i need to go to the that one okay sorry um so um this isn't gonna go into effect for a little while but um what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be going into the um, the options in Vesperia and actually turning the music down within the game itself. That way I don't have to just keep the game volume really, really low. Like, you'll be able to hear everything else just fine. Um, not only that, I've also gone ahead and made my, um, my backup account. I'll probably have a video about that coming out pretty soon, possibly even before this goes up. I'm not sure. Um... I don't really know what I'm going to do with it yet, because I want people to at least know of its existence, but I know that only a few hundred people watch, you know, this particular series, so I'm probably going to have to make a whole video all about that, so yeah. Um, I'm thinking about actually doing a small project on that, just to, you know, put it on the radar so people can find it in a search. Um, I don't really know what I'm going to do. I was thinking of just doing a quick game, but also something that's noticeable, you know? Something that's actually worth going to the channel to see. But then the other thing I would do is I would have that I would have that entire project on a playlist here on this channel as well. Oh, no. You hear me? No. Haha, you can't teleport in here, asshole. You're too big. Um Oh, this is the wrong way. Okay, damn. Alright, so I gotta go the normal way. Woo. Oh well. It's worth looking. But yeah, um, I was gonna have... Oh, ouch. 20 damage? Jeez, just... T That's one thing I hate about Nintendo games. Because they seem to do that way too much. Um, I hate how just touching an enemy hurts you in their major thing. Ouch! Where the hell am I? Get out of here. Okay. I hate how just touching an enemy hurts you. You know, like in uh, Mario or Zelda. Or, well, actually... No, Zelda doesn't do that. Okay, they're actually somewhat intelligent in that series. But, um... You know, like Mario and Samus and... I mean, uh, Metroid and other stuff like that. I hate how touching enemies hurts you in some games. It's just stupid. You know, they... Enemies should always have an attack that damages you. Not just be lethal to the touch. Like freaking acid. Or lava. But whatever. Um, I was thinking, I don't know if I'm actually going to do it, because, you know, I just made it today. Um, I just made the channel today, so I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it. But I was thinking of actually doing Pokemon Ruby on that channel. And then, you know, just like I said, also featuring that playlist here on this channel, so that even if you don't, like, if you don't want to watch it there, you can still watch it on the normal channel. So, oh, I need power bombs to get in there? Really? Oh, that was a waste of time then. Jeez, man, they make you wait forever to get this. Dickheads. All right, well, there's an energy tank over there. Really, really easy to get. Right after Torvus Bog, you can grab that. So, yeah. So that's four, video, uh, four minutes of nothing so far. Kick ass. Hell, it'd probably be easier to just die and then load. Maybe it would... You know what? I think I actually will do that. <laughs> hey, Space Pirates, you want to come and kick my ass? Because, um, I'm lazy. And I just want to die so I can friggin' get out of here. I'm not gonna die to War Wasps. Because that would take way too long. They only do, like, 5 damage per hit. At least with these guys, they do, like, 20 damage per hit. Alright, Space Pirates, come here. Yes, I am literally so lazy that I will let them kill me. Just so I can move, like, 15 feet, like, through one room. Owie. Thank you, Space Pirates. 
And I didn't get anything on the way, so it's like, who cares, right? Jeez. The ultimate in transportation. Death. Eh, whatever. Um... Let's see, I guess the only other thing I've been doing is playing, um... Oh, I've been playing a little bit of Call of Duty, uh, Ghosts. And, uh, the only reason why I have that, I wouldn't have bought it, um, if I didn't... Well, basically, you remember how I got the PS3, or the PS4, from my sister's boyfriend? Well, he had already bought it, and he, uh, he let me have the games as well. So it's like, you know what, I got a couple games, I might as well try it out. And me and my brother have been having way too much fun playing the alien extinction mode. Oh my god, that's so cool. It's like zombies, if zombies was awesome. I mean, zombies is pretty cool, but uh, they added plenty of new stuff to the aliens mode, so that's what makes it fun. So you, you have like all these perks, like you can lay down ammo, you can lay down armor, uh, you can lay down like turrets and stuff that shoots out explosions and stuff like that, it's really cool. And the aliens are a lot less um, the thing is with the, the zombies mode, the zombies are way too strong. Like, they can take you down in, like, one hit. Or, okay, no, not one. But they can take you down in, like, two or three hits. So it is impossible to stay alive for any amount of time. With the aliens, you have regenerating health, and they, um, they don't do near as much damage for single hits. So it makes it a lot more accessible and fun. So, I really like that mode. It's so much fun. But anyway, I think this is the first time we've actually gone down this elevator, so I won't actually skip the cutscene. So, yeah. Oh, man, this cutscene was so much different than all the other elevator cutscenes. Except for the arrival, because, jeez, we go from Desolate Wasteland to, uh... I don't even know what. Anyway, uh, weird-ass... <laughs> it's Spaceball City! Oh my god, I... I don't think I'm the first one to make that joke, but whatever. Uh, okay. Statue of Ebter? Ebter? Okay. Five cent cycles. Okay, whatever. I don't care. Okay, so this is the Sanctuary Fortress. Oh, no, 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 no. Ow, ow. Woo. That hurt. Jeez. And yeah, I know I don't need a super missile for these guys, but man. Thank you. God, that was close. Um, okay, so go ahead and scan this to open up the door. Oh. This place has the worst enemy in the game, just putting that out there. Oh, and of course it's in light either. Serenity class drone. They are little guys that fix things. I don't care, I need some help. If you would kindly drop some. Okay. Just give me the missiles. Now give me nothing but health, please. Come on, just one more big energy, or medium energy would do it. Oh. I really wish that the enemies like this had a much higher drop rate, you know? I wish they had a drop rate similar to those, um, those little seahorse guys. What are they constantly spawning? Or is there just a ton of them? I think there was just a ton of them. Eh, yeah. Okay. But yeah, I really wish those guys dropped stuff more reliably, because I only got three pickups from all those drones. So yeah, go ahead and spin, open this thing. Roll in here. Okay. Uh, this place is annoying. It's really annoying. The music is really weird, too. And why is there, like, little technological electric currents running up? To, like, reverse techno rain? Like, look, you can see them. And since when were there cities on this planet? Unless that's... That's what... Honestly, that's one thing about Metroid that never really made sense to me. Why is there so much stuff in the background that makes no sense in the context of what's going on? Or at least in this game, because it's like, oh, the planet was struck by a giant meteor. Everything was destroyed. Except you have all that. And that's extending for miles like hundreds of miles into the horizon because we're up on a mountain basically you see we're on top of like a huge cliff stru cliffside structure we are way up there and I can see that far that's like you know if you look 
let's say you have a completely flat surface. Like, let's say you're on plains or something, you know, like, you know, fields, flat plains. Let's say you're looking out from that. If you have a completely flat surface, you can look, um, you know, you can see as far as 10 miles because of the curvature of the Earth. You can't see past it, obviously, because, it's, you know, it's a curve. You can't see over it. Um, ow, ow, ow. Ow, what the hell? Yeah, these are actual pirate, regular pirate commandos. So, crap, I'm gonna die. Because I get really lucky. Come on, come on, come on. Yes! Woo! Yeah. Even with the dark beam, they still take all that punishment. Man. Whoop. What are you doing? Okay. Come on. Whoop! Oh, friggin' box. Stupid auto-aim. Come on. Boom. Uh -huh. Ouch. Come on. Yeah, keep walking it. Be glad this isn't Metroid Prime 3 or else I'd rip your shield off. Dick. Okay, what else? Come on, who else? I'm gonna blow that up so it's safe. And blow that up. Oh, there you are. Okay. Oh, there's two more. Jeez! These are all pirate commandos. Man! Is that enough? But hey, the good thing is they can't teleport. Okay. One. Now. Yeah, yeah. I knew you were going to do that. Whoop! And frozen. Missile. There we go. That makes quick work of them. Maybe I should have been doing that from the beginning. Jeez. Oh, well. Ugh. Don't you hate it when you have pants or shorts made of that really, like... Like that really scratchy-ish material? Like right then I was just scratching it so you could hear it. It's like that really... I don't know. It just makes noise whenever you walk. I hate those. Of course, I gotta... I wear, oh, no, no, no. Oh. It's like, of course, I'm wearing it now. So it's like, dude, if you hate it, just don't wear it. Well... It fits, so whatever, I'll wear it. Doesn't mean I gotta like it, though. Alright, anyway. Um, I'm being random today. I don't know. I guess I'm just in a, re a Metroid mood, which is weird, because I haven't been in the mood to record this for a little while. Not because I've been having troubles, just I've been doing other things. Like, a lot... I've actually been playing a lot of Trine 2 recently. That game rocks! Oh my god, it's so beautiful! I ought to do something on that, but I feel like it's going to be really, it would be really overdone, you know, because it's, you know, the type of game that it is, you know, it's a simple, like, 2D adventure platformer and stuff, so I feel like a lot of people would have done that, so I don't know if it's really ground I should cover again, especially because at that point it would just be, you know, me telling you what to do, because the story is very, it's very fairy tale. let's see, Denzium, power bombs for that. Um, it's very fairy tale, so it's not like, oh man, I really love the nuance of this character and blah 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 blah. You know, there's nothing really groundbreaking about the story. No, that doesn't mean it's bad. It's just, you know, it's fairy tale. Octopedes. I believe if you shoot them, let me see. Yeah, you can just shoot them with anything, and they will die. <clears throat> it's a great way to get gun energy, though. As you can see, each each little enemy drops a pickup. So look at that, I, I used up like three light bullets, and I got a ton of dark energy. Okay, so now I'm going to do that. Ah, go away. Just die. Thank you. Perfect. Now let's go and get my light energy back. Oh, or not. <laughs> Jeez, apparently light or dark energy just disintegrates them. Okay. Oh, those are my favorite enemy in the game. I love those things to death. They are so cool. Those are called, um, Ing Smashers. So, yeah, they're very, very cool. Uh, okay, now, this is the... I believe this is the introduction of the most annoying enemy in the game. So, yeah. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. Whoop! Yep, there it is. Oh, I hate these things. They are resbits. Rogue Patrol Drone, Variable Beam Cannon, and Digital Virus Delivery System makes target very dangerous. Barrier, Shield, and Phasing Power help protect it from damage. 
The Resbit. Though small, is a tough opponent. Its weapon system is potent, capable of firing bursts or beams at targets. A barrier shield blocks incoming attacks. It can also shift into an energy state to evade enemies. While in this state, it can transmit a powerful virus into mechanoids and armor systems. The virus can cripple your systems for a time, leaving you vulnerable. These things are dicks. I hate them. With a lot of hate. Okay, do that. Suck it! Oh, I highly recommend doing that. Because you saw that little blue octagon looking thing he put up? That was the, the barrier shield. It will block anything that you shoot at it. And these guys are also really cool. They're fun to fight. Okay, quad MB. Rogue combat drone. Main body specializes in close combat. Lower venting system can be damaged by concussive attacks. Or a boost. And then you can also scan the head. There we go. Alright, so, that is a, it is a separate enemy, so we'll get into that once we actually start fighting it. Whoop! Aha! I think I got it. Nope. Damn it. Ow. Damn it. Oh, the friggin'... I really wish you could change the camera in this mode. There we go. Ah! Whoop! Whoop! Okay, so if you can boost into it while it is uh, spinning, you'll knock it down, and then you'll have to fight the head. So, if it has a purple shield, purple aura around it, you want to fight it with light energy. And if it has a dark... Wait a minute. Oh, hang on. Okay, if it has a dark aura around it, hit it with light energy. If it has a light aura around it, hit it with dark energy. There we go. <laughs> I needed to think for a second there. Okay, ooh, hey, energy. Taking it. Okay. So, in this room, you're going to fight multiple resbits at once, I think. Or, it, you have the potential to. Bap. Die. Ugh. The dark beam is going to see a lot of use. I'm just telling you right now. Like, oh my god. Oh, and by the way, uh, missile door over here. Oh, there we go. Apparently, missile doors always lead to save rooms, at least in this part, part of the game. I don't know why they did that. But... Yeah, I mean, I'm not complaining. It's just kind of strange that they would do that. It's like, oh, let's just mark each save room by a missile door. I don't really understand, but whatever. I'm not a game designer. So, every time you see a missile door, it is a, um... Well, you know. I think that pretty much applies to every single missile door after you get the dark and light beam. So, it's fairly early that that change happens. Okay. What, do I have to kill him again? Oh, no, that was... His pickup was still there, even though I left the room. That's weird. I didn't know that could happen. But yeah, I guess I'll go ahead and fight these guys normal so you can see what they can do. So yeah, I'm not going to do the cheap thing. See, there's the barrier shield. And then... Like, really annoying to see now he's going to go into that mode where you can't lock on to him. You can still shoot him, and then... Oh, oh! Wait. L, R, and B. There. That's what they do. Very, very annoying. So every time you fight them, they can do that. Not to mention they can shoot you and do all kinds of other things. They are the most aggravating enemy in the game, unless you fight them with the freeze and missile strategy, because that just kills them before they can do anything to you, which is incredibly helpful. Where is this one now? There it is. Whoop! Yeah, that's another thing they can do. They have a little laser that can throw off your aim. Ha ha! Hit you anyway, bitch. Gotcha. Oh, hate them hate them so much. So yeah, this is going to be another example of an area where we get like one power up and then we're going to need to leave. So yeah. Okay, gyroscopic system engaged, safety systems offline. Okay. Amber ACCE. Okay. Oh wait, no, that's not going to help because there's two that start with C. Um, okay, now wait. Okay, short to... Uh, Short too long. That works. Alright, Amber. Okay, so, the way I remember that is just Amber is a shorter word. It's the, the shortest word. So yeah, Amber, Cobalt, Crimson, and Emerald. That's it. So yeah. That's how, like, when you say those words, at least to me, when I say those words, I feel like 
they're uh, shorter than each other in sequence, or uh, longer than each other in sequence. So Amber is shorter than Cobalt, Cobalt is shorter than Crimson, Crimson is shorter than Emerald. So yeah, that's just my psychology of doing it. Um, let's see, I think we got another, yeah, we do. Now, I believe if you kill these guys, uh, they don't respawn. So it is actually worth your time to kill them. Oh, would you just let me change that? See, now I'm used to being able to manipulate the camera perfectly. It's really annoying that I can't. Oh, okay, would you get out of there? God, I, you know, I wouldn't have any trouble boosting into these guys if I could just change the camera reliably. That'd be awesome, you know? But no. Nintendo opted for the it just moves where you move thing. Aha, gotcha. That was close. I'm about to die. Okay, light energy. Whoop. Where are you going? Oh, no, 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 no. Crap. Yeah, they can actually do that. They can attach to other robots. No, 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 no. No. Don't shoot me. Quick. Whoop. Energize the portal. Quick, let's go to the safe area. <laughs> It's kind of funny that you start to think of Dark Aether as the safer option, or the al safer alternative. I don't know why I got caught between alternative and option there. Oh, God. Whew. Man, we just barely made it out of that. So freaking dangerous. When you have one energy tank. So, let me take a look. Dark door, blue door, and blue door. Okay. Now, this room also, it mirrors, um... Uh, it mirrors Light Aether in that there's a door off there, but when we were in Light Aether, there was a tunnel here. You can still destroy it in um, Light Aether, you just need power bombs. So, that's something we're going to need to actually do. So, yeah. Uh, sorry, I just feel like waiting, because I don't want to have to go through all those res bits again. Ugh. But yeah, basically what we're doing now, we're I believe we're on our way to getting a power-up. And it's one of the more painful ones to get in the game. It's the only other power-up I'm afraid of getting. Or the like the boss fight, I'm afraid of it. <sighs> I really hope it doesn't make me go insane. Now, here's the thing. I was able to do this with one energy tank before. Um... Spoiler alert, I don't, I don't freaking care. Uh, the guardian I'm worried about is the spider guardian. It's the one that gives you spider ball. Um, also, there's a dark key right there, as you can see. Um, does that give a war, a war entry? No. Lame. Uh, that will, though. These are ing storage, ing worm caches. They are literally just worms that are just coiled around something of value, I guess. Whoa, 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 wait. What, what's going on? Aha! Hey! Been a while since I fought one of you. Whoop! Haha! <laughs> That's a very good way to kill those guys when they try to do the possession thing. Just charge your safe zone and they'll just run right into it and die instantly. That helps. But, um. The Spider Guardian, I am dreadfully afraid of them. Or him. Because, uh. It sucks. Oh, crap. Talon Metroids. Or Dark Metroids. I suppose this is where they expect you to see them for the first time. Haha, you died. Or, well, not really. Come on. Haha. What the hell, why didn't you die? You Shouldn't you have hit the wall and exploded? What's this? Oh, uh, Dark Diligence Drone, okay. Diligence, darkly possessed maintenance unit. Unit against strength and uh, high power to burst of light, okay. Do I seriously have to do a charge shot? I do. Wow. That's crazy. Oh, it's a missile expansion. Cool. I didn't know that. I forgot that was there. I had no idea that was there. That's awesome. Or, I mean, I'm, I may have gotten it before and I just forgot because it's been too long since I played uh, the actual Ing Hive area. And I'm going to go back in here and heal because I don't want to run into any problems. Especially now that I've gotten a missile expansion, I can't really afford to die now. So I'm going to cut to when I have full health. So hang on. Okay, and we're back. Sorry about that. Well, you know, not 
I'm not sorry, I need to refill my health. Um, let's see. I mean, God, I don't even know what beam I should get, you know? Because I'm having to use them pretty equally right now, man. But okay, uh, we got a dark door over here. I believe this leads to something fairly important. Maybe not. Oh, no, 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 that's in the light either. Okay, here, let's do this. One, two. Okay. One, two. Oh, come on. Well, ended up with a little better, I guess. Okay. I ended up with three more ammo in my light beam and, like, five more ammo in my dark beam. Yay. Jeez. Oh, well. Now, this is an elevator I believe we're going to be using this quite a lot. Um. Oh. This place ends up getting really confusing. Oh, right, well. Uh, there's a lot to explore here. There's quite a lot of area to this place. I'll tell you that. Okay, we got more night barbs. I don't need to scan them. Okay. Do, 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 do. Come on. Oh. No, 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 no. Thank you. Don't turn off on me. And, ah. No, 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 no. No, don't do that. Jeez. Just wanted to walk on there. Thank you. Okay, jump on out, grab it. Okay, now, where the hell am I going? Ah, oh, there's a portal there, okay. Whoop! Yeah! Now, is this encased in something? Yes, it is. What is this? Power bomb? Oh. Ah, okay. Um. Aha! Here we go. Oh, no, you gotta be. Really? You gonna do that to me? That's not cool. Unless I just missed those ones, which I doubt that. Okay, really? Come on. I hate these things. Okay. Now. No, 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 don't. Jeez. <laughs> Damn it. Uh, how are you supposed to do that? Because one's blocking the other. Or, well, you know what I mean. There we go. Maybe now I can get it. Oh, you... Ugh! Friggin', I'm just, hang on. Oh my god, this sucks. Why did you do this, Retro Studios? And it's like, yeah, let's just make this a really, really annoying shot to make. Thanks, dicks. Thank you. There. Why is that such a hard shot to make? I guess it's not really that sh hard of a shot to make because I didn't make it. And I I guess I understand why they kept uh, made the night barbs respawn. It's so that you would have infinite ammo. Like, infinite missiles. So that way you can't fail. Uh, ooh. Okay, fine. Oh, I did it a little bit too late. Damn. Oh, wait a minute. Okay, we can't do anything in here. Alright. Well, it was worth a look, at least. But yeah, this is a new... Um, thing that we can't do anything with. This is a, uh, a door with a sonic security system. So yeah, we can't uh, do anything with that. So we're going to have to go back and go through this portal. Come on. There we go. Okay. Oh, no, 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 no. Wrong, wrong thing. There we go. Ugh. Okay. Go through this white, the light portal. I don't know. It looks really different when you go through that light portal. Like, for, I guess just the room that it's in makes it look really, really weird. Okay. Now... Um, let's see. Now, I believe... Oh. Eh. What's over here? Oh, it's on the other side of the door. Okay. Aha! These things. These are the light versions of the Diligence class drone. All you gotta do, shoot them with dark. That's it. And these guys are really aggravating. Uh, they are mechlops. Basically, they will throw you out of um, Metroid. Or Metroid. They will throw you out of uh, Morph Ball areas, which makes them really aggravating. But they're pretty easy to avoid. Just don't go anywhere near them. And I believe. Oh no, you can't. Okay, I thought you could jump over that. That probably would have been a little too easy. <laughs> oh, okay, good. We're still pretty equal on ammo. Oh, not this room. Oh, I hate this room. There's too much to do in here. I don't like it. Okay, scan that, scan that. That's a big-ass generator thing. I don't really need to scan it. There's also a puzzle in here that can be a little annoying. And this room is the root of a lot of, um... 
a, a lot of, um, like, other routes to places, stuff like that. So, yeah. It's going to be a very aggravating room, because it's like, oh, well, how the hell do I get there? Oh, I had to take, like, the millionth exit out of this room, you know what I mean? Okay, so. Um, you're going to be needing to do that a lot, going through these little tunnels here. And you're going to need to work with some of the systems in here. It's really aggravating. Okay. This one's particularly annoying. Basically, you got to get them all lined up with the appropriate color. With the appropriate color. Um... Okay, let me try. Yeah, that's not gonna work. Uh. No. Oh, okay, that was it. <laughs> See, I'm just screwing around with this. Like, oh, okay, I got it. There's no real method to how I do those. I just kind of screw around with it. And also, I believe that um, once you get a line um, once you get a line correct, you actually can't screw it up. Like, it actually it becomes impossible to manipulate that particular line, so that's helpful. So at that point, you can just basically mess around until you get it. It's not all that hard. And this freaking room exit entrance thing is really, really weird looking. Like, look at that. It's like, it looks like you're walking into an explosion. It's weird. I don't know what... Who designed it like this? Jeez. And you know what else I just noticed? Why exactly are half of these doors, or pretty much all of these doors, too small for the Luminoth to actually walk through? <laughs> but okay. Let's go ahead and turn off that generator, that first level, and now we can, um... Now we can walk across it, and we need to go to another room. Yay. Just be careful you don't touch that little pink energy field. Because it hurts, and it will knock you off the thing, and you'll have to platform all over again, get all the way back up here just to get up. Then we're here on the other side, use the spinner, and we can open this door, and we don't have to go through all that crap to get here again. So, yeah. Anyway, uh, I believe we need to scan this. Okay, now is this going to take me up? Yes, it is. Very good. Now, this is something for later. Um, let me see. I believe it's Denzium. Yep, Denzium. More power bomb stuff. Ugh. Okay, so... Um, we're almost to the point where we can actually start making some progress, so don't worry. Uh, you're going to need to... Oh, wait, wait. Now, there's also, as you can see, there's a missile expansion down there, and that's a kinetic orb cannon. Uh, there's a missile expansion just behind it. You can just barely see it. Wait, wait. There it is. Um, right there. Okay, but hang on. I want to look around the rest of this room before I go over here, because this is kind of a point of no return. Um, I know that it's where I need to go, but I'm just, I don't want to go there just yet, because I seem to remember it being really aggravating and potentially hazardous to my health. <laughs> potentially my ass. Um, I believe there's an energy tank somewhere around here. Ah, there it is. All the way over there is energy tank. So yeah, that's kind of like a, um... Oh, whoops. Wrong gun. Um, that's kind of like a, um... Oh, come on. You know, kind of like a, a warp between different areas. I believe that one will take you to Torvus, I think. So yeah. Um... <sighs> gotta jump down. I believe there's also a res bit in here. Is there? Oh, it's one of those. Now, something else you can do if you feel like it. You can actually destroy the head before you do anything else with these guys. Haha, -ha, gotcha. Oh, no, I didn't. What the hell? I killed the head! How do... What? Oh, I hate these guys. They're cool enemies, but man, they're so annoying. But okay, there's that. Not that big a deal, but the door does lock when he appears, so you can't just avoid him. So, yeah. Okay. Foreshadowing. Alright, incomplete unit in the rogue loom. Yeah, yeah. Not that you say. Oh. Man, more of them. <sighs> Fine. I believe if you hit him with a super missile, it actually destroys the head. Okay, are you dead now? 
better be. Oh, crap. No. Don't, don't possess me, please. Don't try to... Okay, good. So, yeah, they're gonna go off and possess these things and make them dark versions. That sucks. Ugh. Ink possession, striking target. Okay, yeah, yeah. It's exact. It basically it just makes them a little bit stronger. That's it. It does nothing else to the actual way you fight them. It is literally the exact same thing. Okay. Now, if they would just start to spin. Come on. There. That works, I guess. Kind of. It's not as good as the normal method of just rolling around and waiting, because I don't like having to wait for the morph ball mode to actually work. Okay, would you... F Ugh, I, if I could just keep the camera on them. Thank you. You got, like, no time. Ugh. That's honestly one of my biggest complaints about this, uh, about the Prime Trilogy. Just not being able to, you know, really control the camera well. I don't like that. I get that pretty much every button is used for something, but man, you gotta have some kind of camera control that's not just, oh, turn to the left and right, you know? You gotta have something more than that. Sorry. <laughs> uh, oh well. Anyway, um, let's see. Now, um, oh, I could have sworn there was another enemy. Maybe that's later on. There's another enemy that appears in here that's really, really annoying. Like, really annoying, and pretty damn dangerous if you're doing a one energy run, or one energy tank run. They are very, very frustrating to deal with. Ugh. Like, they've got guided bullets that can travel all the way across the frigging room, and uh, I think that actually, it, there's something that you can, like, the bullets that they fire, you can walk onto them, and the problem is, um, you have to kill them with the Seeker missile, and their bullets can screw you up. So you have no idea how annoying that is. Ugh. It's like when I was trying to do the Seeker Missile on that, um, on the portal, or the Seeker Missile thing, and it... Okay, wait. It's when I was trying to do the Seeker Missile thing against that Dark World target, and I had to, um, deal with the Night Barbs. Anyway. Uh, number of Luminoth weapon systems most likely used by Rogue and Luminoth things. Okay, yeah, yeah. So he died to his own machines. Terminator reference, whatever. Here are the words of Olir, the last sentinel of the Fortress of Temple. Yeah. What's up? Don't look away from me. This used to be a great fortress, a safe haven for our people during the war. It also holds portals. It also holds portals to the Ing Hive, the heart of their dark tribe. Actually, no, it's not. Why would they choose to make their base in the exact same place where they made yours? During the war, I built a number of mechanical sentinels to join me in battle. They were made to fight the Ying, and they did for a time. Yes. Now they don't. One by one, the Ying corrupted them. Now they attack with no mercy. Many went to Dark Aether with their Ying masters. Ugh. Why have I done... God, I need to stop with the Ying thing. Okay. Expect them when you are in the hive. The Ying like use them as guards. Yeah, I'm sure they do. The Ing will protect their home with great ferocity. In all of our battles, the hive has never fallen. You guys just suck. I can do it alone. Alright, but yeah, now I got the blue ones. Oh, so, uh, yeah, you're dead. If only I could join you. Redeem my fallen honor in battle. But my time has passed. Yes. So how do you know you're dead? You're just a hologram. Good luck. The little elevator will show you the way. Yep. Thanks. Fade away. Jeez. Energy fully replenished. Yay. Wasn't I already at full health? I don't even know. Oh, Cobalt. Yay. Can't just call it blue. No, no. Agon Falls. Uh, yep. It sure did. <laughs> Although it's back now. I brought it back. Unless the Ang have another transfer module. It's kind of funny that they only made, like, one transfer module. It's like, uh, guys, wouldn't it be, um... Wouldn't it be better to, like, try to split your forces? You know, try to, like, attack all the temples at once. That way, the Ying kind of have to scramble to defend what they have. Wait a minute, this is them. Oh, I hate these guys. It's that thing. Where is it? Scan it. It is a mech... Mechano... Wait. Meeknobite? I don't even... Mechanobite? 
Wall walking mechanoid. Okay, yeah, whatever. Anyway, basically there's three of them, and they hang out under those areas, and you got a secret missile both of their arms. And also, don't forget, like I said before, you need to be in a cor in a good position to hit them. And when you do that, they both they die. Okay. And kaboom. Thank you. There's that. And let's get over here. Yeah, I am not giving these guys any opportunity to shoot me down. Sorry, I had a lot of trouble with these guys in the past, so I am not giving them any quarter whatsoever. They will die. Oh, get out of the way. Jeez. Oh, man. Now, can I just jump straight up there? Let me see. No, of course I can't. Man. <laughs> Sometimes you can do that. You can just take advantage of the fact that it's like, oh, this is the one I could have jumped up to. I didn't have to. No. Oh, well. Let's see. Can I do it here? Oh, there's not one there. Okay, I guess I need the screw attack for that. Oh, spoilers. In the Samus, we get a screw attack. What? It's only her signature ability. We end up getting that? Jeez. I would have never guessed. It's like, well, spoiler warning, as Mario, we're going to need to jump. <laughs> Jeez. Anyway. Oh, uh, wait, are we already there? Oh, we are. Oh, no. Oh. Okay, where's the save room? All the way back there? Are you kidding? That's why I hate those guys so much. I remember now. Oh, I gotta do this now? Oh, okay, fine. God, this is the spider guardian. It's coming up. Okay, scan this thing to turn the kinetic orb cannon on. Blah, blah, blah. Shoot over here. Woo! Bonk. And I'm gonna go ahead and turn this one on. So that way I've got easy access in and out. That's what she said. That's what he said to her. Or to him. Whatever. Anyway. Come in here. There it is. I'm afraid to go into this room because I don't know if it's going to lock behind me. So I'm not going to. I will be right back. I'm going back all the way to the freaking generator room so that I can save it. Ooh, bonk. Good thing that just happened to be there. Anyway. I will be back. So see you back here. Oh no! Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Oh no, are you serious? You can't be serious. Are you seriously saying I can't get back? That was a one-way trip? Oh my god. Wait a minute. Oh, that's below me, of course. Jeez, where the hell am I? There. Look at this place. Look how huge that is. Jeez. Man. Oh. Oh, man. So guess what? Whenever I die, I gotta do all that. All over again. I gotta start here. Get through the generator room. Go through there. Go through there. Go through all of that. And then, just to have the privilege of trying this fight... Oh, this might be where I end up grabbing a second energy tank. I don't know. I just don't think I have the patience for this. Needless to say, I'm probably only going to get, like, one attempt in here. So, yeah, because, you know, we're already at, like, 50 minutes. Oh, boy. You couldn't have put a save room right in front of here, assholes. Okay, this is your only chance to scan this guy, so feel free to scan him. He's completely harmless right now. Spider Guardian. Target uses spider ball power to cling to walls. It seems to have con a connection to the energy system in the area. Overexposure to energy may disrupt it. The dark This darkling pill bug has absorbed the power of your spider ball. It can travel over magnetically charged surfaces at will. The creature seems to have con a connection to the local energy system. Aggravating it may cause disruptions to the system. So yeah, that's basically... Um, that's your clue? to how you gotta fight him. Basically, you're gonna have to mess around with him, and then it's going to 
interact with, like, the environment will change when you mess around with the Spider Guardian. All of this fight will be done in Morph Ball mode. Uh, is, it really, is there really nowhere else I can save it? Do I really have to go through all of that every time I die? That's really not cool. Like, that's not fair. I hate you. Oh, my God. I want to go back and check, but whatever. Uh, here we go. Once you enter this point, you're committed, so be careful. Now, the first phase is really pretty easy. Basically, what you're going to need to do is... As you can see, there's the Spider Guardian rolling all around. Now, um, what you're going to want to do is... Okay, now, this is going to take some concentration. And also, you can zoom in and out. As you can see, you can see either the full area or just you. If you know what you're doing, you only need to really look at yourself. So, yeah. Uh, for now, what you're going to want to do is advance. You're going to want to move through this area a little bit. Now, you see how there's a really thin wall right there? Um, there's a thin wall to the side and a thicker wall beneath me. If you stay on top of these thicker walls... Ow, ow, okay, I guess I'm wrong. Um, never mind. I thought that if you stayed on top of those thicker walls, the electricity wouldn't hurt you, but apparently it does. My mistake. So, anyway, what you're going to want to do is... Crap. Okay. Now, let me see here. Come on. Okay, so when you do that... Oh, wait, he's going to speed... Okay, you got to do it twice. Okay. So, when you hit him once, he'll speed up. Then, you're going to want to hit him again... Okay. Damn it. So yeah, so when you hit him the second time, he will turn green and then slow down. Then, in this point, you're going to want to quickly move to the, whatever bomb slot is available. And then it will open a door. He'll run through it, run into like a charge thingy, and hurt him. That's how you fight this guy. And as you can see, we did a fair amount of damage to his health bar. So you've only got to do this like three or four times total. But the thing is... Each time you do it, it's going to get harder and harder and harder and harder. So, yeah. Okay, now this part really, really sucks. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Oh, damn, I thought I would have had him. Okay, now... Oh, you've got to be kidding. I hate... You see what I mean? Now. Damn it. Well, I hit him. Oh, no, I didn't hit him? Are you kidding me? Oh. oh my God. He does 30 damage per hit. Now I'm dead. I am so dead. Oh, I hate these. Oh, my God. And then when I die, I'm going to have to try it all over again. Yep. So you gotta, like, how do you, ugh. Oh. Continue from last save. Oh, look where I am, all the way back here. Thank you. Thank you, Riot. I mean, Riot. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Riot, Riot Games decisions. <laughs> Jeez, never mind. I'm not gonna go into that. Oh my god. Sometimes Riot pisses me off, so it's like, thanks, Riot. It's almost as, it's almost as, okay, wait. That comes out almost as easy as, thanks, Obama. You know, like, jokingly. Oh my god. Oh, and yay, I get to do this again. Oh, I have the privilege of doing this again? Man, Retro, you designed games so friggin' well. Oh my god. You have no idea how much I want to murder you right now. Hey, there's the red. See, now the buttons disappear, just like I said before. And there we go. Oh. Okay. Ugh. <sighs> So, yeah, um, this is probably going to be yet another uh, Bomb Guardian type thing. I mean, a Bomb Guardian. Uh, yet another Boost Guardian type thing. I'm going to try it several dozen times. I don't know if I'm going to get through it on one energy tank, though. So, yeah, um, simply because... I mean, here's the thing. I know for a fact that I can do it on one energy tank. It's just... Do I want to spend the next year and a half of my life doing this? 
Not really, no. Not really. So, I don't know if I'm actually going to. This might be the point where I just say, screw it, I'm just going to get the second energy tank. I know I can't beat the game without it anyway, but I will give it my best. I will try a lot. So, yeah. Uh, is there any way I can activate this kinetic orb cannon, maybe? That's what I'm... Oh, wait, wait. Hey! What are these? Aha! There's the kinetic orb cannon! Okay! Cool! Hey, wait a minute. Does that mean I can just kill this guy with this? Haha! Dick! <laughs> oh, man. That cheered me up. Check that out! Man! Haha! -ha, dickhead! That's what you get. Man, you got destroyed. Okay. <laughs> that was very satisfying. Oh my god. I killed both of them at once just by getting in that. Jeez. Okay. So, um, I'm going to go ahead and end it off. I'm going to go and save it. And then next time, it will be a huge, 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 huge long compilation of attempts against the Spider Guardian. So, yeah. I'm probably going to record a few right now. And, you know, just not put them in this video, and then I'll put them in the next one. So, yeah, because I don't want this to be a two-hour long video, and then I gotta take three days to edit it, you know? Ugh. Freaking Viscera cleanup detail. That will haunt me until I'm gonna take that experience to my grave. But, okay. I'm gonna save it. And next time on Metroid Prime 2, we are going to beat the Spider Guardian. I don't know if I'm going to have to use two energy tanks or not, but I will beat him, because I have done it with one, so yeah, I will see you guys then.